Okay, we're going to do a real quick uh, basic program and turn on the IP420. We're going to hit the M key. That's for sewing, this is for programming, so we'll push the programming button. The M key gives you this screen. It's what's going to ask you about erasing data. Just accept that. Here's your screen for writing your program. So this is just a quick start to get you on a basic program first thing you want to do here is notice what zero 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 there's your coordinates you're at the zero point you need to jump to a location point so we'll push this key here just jump and accept the jump speed now we're in jump mode so by depressing the arrows we can go and locate our starting point and we can go directly to it or we can put in little stopping points for it which I like to do So we're going to start right here. We're going to accept the jump. The machine will go back and trace this program. So this is where we're going to start our, our sewing. And it's at uh, X negative 2860 and Y 3100. Okay, so we're just going to do a simple point A to point B type sewing. So we'll go over here and select the line stitching. The default is a 2 millimeter stitch. We're going to make that 3.5, so just put in 35, it says accept that, that you want 3,500, okay, now all we have to do is uh, hit the arrow here, and I'm going to actually follow the jump corner, so we want that as our first point, so this bottom left here is for your line A to B, don't hit that one, it's a spline one, so just go we got that point, and then just draw your program. Uh, point A to point B. Pretty straightforward. Um, and if you remember that your coordinate that you started with in the Y, which I forgot, you could put that in so you could be exactly on the same line. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty it. So, when you're done, Put all your points in, accept this. What's going to do? It's going to go back here and um, trace what you just put in. Okay. So now that we've traced it, we probably want to put in a um, thread trim to get to. These are the basic functions, but if you want to get all the functions, hit this little magnifying glass right here, and you could list all the functions. And thread trimming is number one, so we'll hit. We want to trim. It. It's asking us to verify that and say, yeah, we want to run trim. So now we could save the program right now by an arrow going to the right says save it, and the other one is bringing a program forward. But you might want to test it first, so we're going to do a little test real quick. So in order to test this program, you hit the test key, and it's telling you it's being prepared. You got that familiar blue screen that comes up when you go to sew. If you want to change the tension, you can, and things like that. Uh, so go ahead and hit the set ready to get the green screen. Machine is ready to sew. Perform your sewing. If everything looks good, you want to go back to the programming mode. Re-hit that uh, set ready, get the blue screen, and hit the little X up here. And this puts us back where we started in the programming mode. And if everything is good and you want to keep it, um, go up here and hit the save button like so. Okay, hit the save button. And you'll notice right now it's telling it's going to be uh, vector data. Um, can, um, it's going to default to a program number one. We'll just give it something else like uh, 99. Okay. And you can save it in two different ways. The vector file or the chip. We're going to just do this. Pattern writing. Okay. It was just saved as 99 as a vector file. So when you go to read that out, you're going to have to change the little prompt on uh, program versus vector, and we'll show you that here in a second. So to get out of the programming mode and go back into the sewing mode, just hit the M key, kind of reverse what you did to get in here, select sewing mode, hit the M key, it's telling you it's going to erase the data that's in the RAM, you know, get ROM, just get rid of that right now, and uh, you'll be back into sewing mode. So you got the blue screen with no program number, so you're going to need to select something. 
So what you're going to want to do is touch that right in the middle. These are the programs that are on the uh, machine. But if you just wrote a program, it's going to be in what's called the vector file. So you're going to need to look over there. Because if you notice, 99 doesn't exist here. Uh, so hit this little button here, and it's going to ask you, do you want program numbers or vector data? So hit that one, like so, and accept it. Now there's the uh, program 99. So if we wanted to do program 99, we'd say, yeah, we want that one. And you can change, you know, certain parameters here. It's converting it over to be sewn. And there's your program 99. And to sew it, then just hit your set ready key and machine's ready to rock. And the other things like changing the speed and the tension are uh, kind of there. Another important feature to do when you first start in here is if you want to test the data to make sure it's fitting in the clamp, is you've got your program loaded. Uh, we already pushed the set ready, green screen, we're ready to sew. So if you depress your clamps and drop them first, and then come over here and press this little thumbs up thingy, you'll get this screen. Now if you hit the plus key, basically it'll just take you around your uh, pattern and you can see that it's fitting it and everything's okay. And if it is, you can either reverse it by the negative button or you can go right to the start button right here. So, if everything looks good, uh, green screen's on, you go on. The other thing I probably want to bring up is the tension. You do have an electronic tension on here um, that's operated off the servo motor. Uh, so when you want to change the tension, you just hit the picture of the tension. And 40 is the reference number that's usually the default. So the larger number is uh, more tension. You can take it up one increment at a time, or you can pick it up you know, in, in groups of five like that. Bring back down, of course, it's kind of the same thing. And we're just going to put it back there on the, the default, which was uh, 40. When it's set right, uh, just go back to your song. Now, if you're running the jump foot, one other thing that is kind of cool, instead of going in there and um, taking the screwdriver, you know, and raising the foot up and down, you can uh, change it electronically too. Uh, when you're ready to, in the sewing mode here, push this little picture of the foot, and it's showing you the height. Right now it's two millimeters, and let's say that the step was really thick, and you wanted the foot not to be so down so high you could um, easily change that and as you press this the presser bar goes up and you can change this at different spots when you're writing a program too but for right now uh, it's kind of doing the same thing as um, raising or lowering the bar, uh, presser foot on the screen except you can do it here right on the panel which is pretty neat and the speed obviously is kind of self-explanatory the turtle slower fast we're at a thousand you know if you want to go bad as you move or down. And that's kind of your basic stuff to get you started.